Yo guys, what is going on? I'm Mr. Bring you guys a really interesting video today. If you're looking at my screen, you see that Smogon has finally gotten up to date with the X and Y meta. So when I say that, is uh, they're no longer, they still have 5th gen stuff on there, but usually they didn't have any of the X and Y meta stuff yet. For example, we have Aegisash here, Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Bomb Snow. The website's looking really nice and everything. Uh, you can have tags uh, to where you can just look it up really quickly this way rather than back in the day. Uh, we all know that struggle right at the back in the day we have to scroll down it's like oh here's a Pokemon a UU the first U thing that you would find you'd click and that's you would find everything in UU but if it makes you feel any better right now uh, the tiers are not legit right now as you can see Bisharp is UU uh, Azumarill is UU uh, a lot of stuff is UU that shouldn't be UU just you know nothing is really up to date and right now at this point uh, so Smogon is still what they literally did is they transferred uh, they transferred the 5th gen Pokemon and they put it into here with the new style, but all the tiers are the same as 5th gen. So 5th gen tier listing is still the same right now as it is in this X and Y meta, but they will change it as they progress. See this black and white and everything. They have diamond and pearl, ruby and sapphire, gold and silver, red and blue. God damn. God damn, they even made it look legit. I thought it was just for the X and Y meta, but the entire website got an overview, a new look, everything they made it look different and i absolutely love it what i think is the most best interesting part is uh you can look up a bunch of stuff right here really quickly so last time what you would have to do you you would have to like there'd be like a little ability slot like right here in front of the tier because the tier used to be all the way out here in the front and then like there'd be like a little ability slot right here and you would click on that ability and it would show you all the pokemon in that ability now what you can do in the new website is you can click abilities right here and all the abilities pop up all the abilities pop up of course it's gonna take a long ass time because a lot of that i don't think they got it up to date fixed yet because i think it's just blank i can't really tell if it's just me or not uh but it seems to be that it is a little blank so i'm gonna refresh and give it a shot um nope okay so they are still working on the ability thing that may just be me my computer's not working for it i feel like it was working earlier but i guess not so they're still working on that on the items are also working on as well a lot of types, if you guys aren't really good to competitive, this is a very good thing that you want to try and memorize because this is going to teach you what's super effective against what's super effective, what resists, what resists, what is neutral against what is neutral, and then what does not even affect period at all. So like poison and steel, poison doesn't affect steel. And like normal and ghost, ghost doesn't affect normal. So if you're really trying to get into competitive, this is where you want to start off. You want to start off with here and everything like that. See, people give Smogun way too much bad credit. I understand Smogun has done a lot of things we don't agree with. Uh, with the tier, tier changes and everything and the bands and everything we don't agree with a bunch of the stuff but if you see their insight they really do make sense at times like banning mega kangaskhan made sense banning mega Car lucario adaptability swords dance everything nasty plot everything the amount of priority that he has it needed to go so it makes sense it makes sense i'm loving what they did with it though i'm really loving what they did uh see if you can click on the pokemon right here it gives you the stats and everything the type the ability is not here yet because again they're working on abilities so now i know that it's not my computer uh but as you can see it is red and blue because of the sprite i'm still on there so if i go to x and y uh here it is and they have the moving sprite and everything is all the moves that it's able to learn and they don't have a move set yet just for arcanine as you can see no moves that's available and uh you can actually help them out by sending in move sets uh, pretty sure I think you have to email it to them or contact them on their forums in the dashboard something like that I don't know. I've never really given Smogon a set. I've done a uh, I've done those things. I forget what they're called But I've done those things where you sent like, just paste teams onto like the forums and then like people would use those teams I forget what they're called uh, since no one really does that anymore Things are called RE teams. I forget, I just can't remember what they're called Like I remember posting a hail team onto the forums and then a lot of people were using it because a pretty good hail team I was a UU Halo team and uh, when 5th gen was first allowing UU. So it was a long ass time ago. I don't think people do that anymore, but it was really fun. They have all the moves that the Pokemon can learn. So any move that you think you're like, huh, can Arcanine learn Outrage? Let's check if Arcanine can learn Outrage. Oh, yes, he can. There you go. Makes life a lot easier now. I'm telling you, this makes life a lot easier. And with this, the types, oh my lord, the tags is the best. I'm telling you. And then the search is as well, because we all know that struggle. Uh, people that actually play by tiers and go use the Smogon website, we know that struggle of scrolling down to actually find the Pokemon. Of course, you can do Control F and type in like freaking Abra or type in like uh, Zygarde. The hell? Okay. 
Uh, or type in like Zapdos. No, okay, well I have to actually scroll down for it to happen. Cause you see, I, they're still working as you see, you still have to scroll all the way down like this in order to bring out more Pokemon. So now if I go all the way to the bottom, which I'm doing right now, they have all the Pokemon that have ever been created, all the legitimate Pokemon all, all the way up to like, I think it's like 740, I don't know what it gives up to. Uh, see, now if I type in like, for example, let's do Kingler. See, I could do Control F and find it. That's what you had to do back in the day. But now all you do is click search, type in to start searching, Kingler. There he is. Azumarill. There he is. Uh, Charizard. There he is. And the items that also have Charizard's name inside of it. Or it's it's really handy when it comes to Mega Stones as well, Mega Evolution. So it's really, really, really nice. I love the search bar the best. It really comes in handy. I will leave a link down to this in the description. You guys, let me know what you thought about this. And uh, leave your uh, feedback and everything down in the comments section down below. Leave this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure just to know that one click of a like does support the series, supports the channel, everything. And it only takes one second. So please, if you guys could like this video, it would be most appreciative. And until the next time, guys, I will see you all later.